Oh, hey. Hello there, sir. Good doing? to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too, man. So, Neve, you've got this crazy body horror story that's incredibly socially relevant, I think. Yes. So, how did it come about? Well, uh, Brandon, uh, I'm, I'm from Toronto, and Brandon uh, was a, a really good friend of my assistant. He went to school together with him, and, and he made a short film, which was actually the first few scenes of this film. Uh, and I went to see it, it won a bunch of prizes for short films in Toronto and uh, looked great and he said he's going to develop into a feature and I thought, wow, okay, let's, uh, let's do this. That was like three years ago. So when you say the first few scenes, actually directly taken from the short film, not reshot? No, 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 uh, no, 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 reshot, completely. And hilarious to see the actual short film because the characters look so different, same lines, but completely different so we're going to release the short film in the dvd as a dvd extra just to see how how far it's come but uh yeah it it, it showed a lot of promise and uh that's what we decided to do so and obviously brandon's father is um somewhat well known Someone. yes yeah I, I i don't mean to suggest it's a cynical ploy because it's clearly not you clearly it, 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 there's no cynicism but surely that is a benefit to you and your marketing for the film to have Brandon's surname on the movie. Well, absolutely it is. I'm not going to lie, but you know, I'm I'm working with a lot of uh, first-time filmmakers. You may know a film called Hobo with a Shotgun, which I produced as well. So this film, uh, Antiviral, is kind of the the little brother of Hobo, uh, and there are a bunch of others coming up. Uh, so Brandon is a first-time filmmaker and uh, fit into the program, and the fact that. He's a Cronenberg, of course, helps, uh, you know, for marketing and uh, and whatever. But, you know, his father was not involved in the film. He's very proud to say that and has said that publicly. And, uh, you know, he, in Cannes, he was like a, like a dad, you know, like he, uh, you know, he was so proud of, of the film as, as, as a dad would be. But, you know, it, 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 it was a, a benefit to have the name, but it, that's what it was. You mentioned your, the rest of your slate of upcoming films. Are they all very strong high concepts like this and Hobo, or are they less sort of high concept led, as it were? Well, it seems first time filmmakers or young filmmakers, shall we say, are, are into um, high concept films. I'm also producing uh, Denis Villeneuve's, you know, Denis Villeneuve who did Incendie. I'm producing his film right now called An Enemy, and so it's not quite the same you know so you know whatever you get uh, you know I'm not particularly focused on one thing or another I, I I'm, I'm working on this strand of films for first-timers and then on lots of other things so I produced a film called the red violin you know which is a classical music film so you know it's like it's all over the place you know I, I, I like to think I, I I'm a producer of great directors and I really really love working with talent and kind of supporting the director's vision and that's what I do. Thank you very much sir.